Hello again, this is Michelle Sam from Sammy Wong's Kitchen and today it's going to be 95 degrees so we are going bananas. We're going to be making banana popsicles. All you'll need for banana popsicles are the following. You'll need some bananas, some chocolate chips, and coconut oil. You can also have some toppings and here we have some ground peanuts or coconut flakes and sprinkles. Okay, in order to actually skewer the bananas, you would need either craft sticks or if you have skewers, you can use those. And if you don't have either of those, you could use Chinese takeout chopsticks or chopsticks at home. Um, and for every popsicle that you make, you will need a binder clip. I also like to have a bowl, a deep bowl or a pot with a stick or chopstick suspended on top of it. And just make sure that whatever you're using, that the stick will be able to go through your binder clip like this and be able to suspend the container. So let's get started. What I'm going to do first is going to prepare our bananas. All you'll need to do is take a banana and I usually try to use the small bananas that are not quite fully ripened so they're a little firm um, and I like doing half. Um, you could do the whole one but just make sure that you can actually immerse your banana into the container and I like to use a container that is the the diameter is fairly small so you don't use as much chocolate and what we're going to do now is cut the banana whoops i injured that one that's okay these things happen we can just mend it and i'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to take my skewer and where it's even broken, I'm just going to go all the way to the top and kind of patch it like that. And this one, I'm going to do it like this. And with these, after I've skewered them, I'm going to put them in the freezer. Now for the chocolate chips. So I have 120 grams in a glass container. This is microwave safe. And what I'm gonna do is add two tablespoons of coconut oil. And I'm going to microwave this for about a minute in my microwave. It'll depend on the power of your microwave as to how long it's going to take. But I think my microwave is going to take about a minute. I'm going to set it for uh, a minute 30 seconds. What you want to do is make sure that the, um, the actual coconut oil is melted. Right now you can see that it's still a little solid. So here we go. Okay, that was about a minute and 15 seconds. And if you can see here, there is no longer any solid coconut oil. It has all melted and the actual chocolate chips are shiny. So I'm going to take my spatula and I can use a spoon. I'm going to stir this until it's all mixed. And this is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is just keep this at room temperature and wait until the bananas freeze, which will be about an hour or two. And now we're going to start dipping our frozen bananas. This is the fun part. So let me get them out of the freezer. And I actually have four frozen bananas here. 
um, the two bananas that have been cut in half. And as I showed you earlier, we have the melted chocolate, which is now at room temperature. And it's still pretty viscous. And it's in a narrow cylinder so that we don't use as much chocolate than if we had it in a bowl. So since it's really very hot outside right now, I am going to show you how to do this. I'm going to take a frozen banana. I'm going to put it at an angle so I can get as much chocolate on there. So I'm going to just go ahead and dip it. You can go all the way over the, the edge of the banana at the end, or you can just uh, do it halfway. And I'm going to take my clip, clip it onto the banana here. And for this one, it's just going to be a plain chocolate dipped banana. And I'm going to thread it through the chopstick and let it dry. Okay, here we have the one that had the little accident. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, make it a coconut banana. So I'm going to take my coconut flakes here. I'm going to first, once again, dip it into the chocolate. So I'm just going to swirl it around. Put it here. And then um, here in this container, I'm going to quickly go ahead and run it over the coconut. And you'll have a coconut one. I'm going to attach my binder clip here and thread it through. The same thing I'm going to do with the crushed roast peanuts. Swirl it. This is actually really fun. Um, get as much of the chocolate off as you can. Also, it'll just go into your filling, but that's all right. And once this is kind of done, just go and roll it into your peanuts. Once again, a binder clip. Thread it through. And this last one I'm going to do is with sprinkles. The sprinkles, I'm going to just sprinkle it on top. This is really just to make it fun. Swirl it into the chocolate. Get as much of the chocolate off. And then sprinkle it with some of the sprinkles. And there you have it. I'm going to just go ahead. This one's actually pretty dry. But if you were making more, you would keep doing that. And here are your chocolate dipped banana popsicles. So I'm going to just plate it so you can see what it looks like. Up here, get this around, Let's move this over here. And here you go. Really quick, really easy, and really fun to do. So enjoy the warm weather, and, and hopefully this will make it a little more fun. Bye-bye now, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.